Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shikimori. It's not just a cutie. Episode number four reaction. Okay, the previous episode. Um, we get uh, if you're not Shikimori and you, both of them get ready to go on a movie date. Um, Inu, I think Zuka. I always forget his name. Inu Zuka, I think. Yeah, that was his name. He gave uh, you some tickets and you uh, invited Shikimori to go out with him. Um, and you know, like there was like that little preparation phase where they were preparing to, like you know, like like Shikimori was like choosing clothes while you was just excited and you was also like you know like bringing umbrellas and everything just in case you know like his bad likes luck strikes. Uh, and he had like a bag and everything ready and they reach the movie theater and here you kind of makes uh like you know like asks shikimori to choose a movie herself because all the time she's the one who compromises even though shikimori probably just wanted to hang out with him uh, but you was like no this time you choose because i want to see something that you want to watch i want to see what you like and you know like that was like his uh, uh thing now <clears throat> Shikimori chose a very uh, scary movie and uh, you was a lot like, extremely scared while watching it but uh, yeah by the end of it <laughs> you know everything kind of works out pretty well and uh, yeah he, he was like you know extremely exhausted by the end but that was that they go uh, to have a meal and the wallet has like you know fallen off somewhere and uh, now then while going back you was depressed but in comes his parents they invite uh, shikimori to their house and they have a little dinner in their house and here uh this is like you know the time when shikimori's mom and uh, sorry use mom and shikimori they kind of talk and use mom talk about how uh, you know from the childhood he has always been like you know uh prone to bad luck and how he's always wounded or injured but still doesn't think about himself that much always worries about other people and you know because of being unlucky himself he is that much kind and he asks shikimori to like you know not get tired with him because that would break his heart and shikimori was like no that will never happen so that was like a little like you know uh, like a nice little section and uh, by the end of it shikimori uh, yu's mom becomes shikimori's good friend like you know they even like you know exchange texts and everything <laughs> That was kind of funny. So let's see what happens in this episode. This is episode number four of Shikimo is not just a cutie. So I'll put in the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> okay. Wait, wait, is this the... This is the roof of the school. Damn, it's huge. <laughs> Achimitsu. Okay, please don't fall. I, f I feel like he's going to fall or something. Okay. Oh my god. Up. Wow. <laughs> oh my god just bonked him on the head zero resistance to sunlight <laughs> it's yeah it's chicken oil all right <clears throat> All right.
All right. Beginning of summer. <laughs> Dazzling. It's from a commercial. Ah, it's Hachimitsu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Non athlete. Okay. <laughs> Athletic. Like summer hates winter. <laughs> yeah, it'll. And I feel like. Uh, oh. Damn. River. Oh. Yeah, I feel like river would be good. Like. I feel like river sounds better then like in the blistering hot just go to the sea beach it's yeah <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> but no, Shikimori is there with him. Yes. <laughs> Just like I said. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I f I f feel like s I really hope Okay, okay, everything's okay. Fine. Oh. <laughs> well, well, they can just hang out, you know. <laughs> Mm, no. Wait. Yeah. Who would wear swimsuit in the river? <laughs> he probably did. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, wait. Okay. <laughs> What's he looking at? Oh! But... <laughs> oh no. She's going to go now. She's going to go now. And no, that's not. You're not going to the toilet. 
he was just looking at her abs and <laughs> he's like <laughs> oh my god uh. oh my god <laughs> okay <laughs> why is she so excited <laughs> oh oh no <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah she really is ah oh. Okay, a little backstory. Oh, I, I think they were not friends at this moment, so, or, yeah, 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 okay, okay. So, Neko and Hachimatsu were friends from the beginning. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> her face is not Oh, so they they were not acquainted even before. Oh, interesting. Say so. Hmm. Okay. Oh, they, they, they'll pay together, I think, now. Now they're going to bond. Oh, no, they're on different teams. Okay. Uh, here she'll see how she can work. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Wow, that was a good... Yeah. <laughs> oh, now she's gonna get competitive. <laughs> wow. Damn. <laughs> Why did it become like this? <laughs> oh my god.
<laughs> Wait, did they lose or did they win? Okay, we don't know who won, but never mind that. <laughs> It was probably because Izumi was looking at... Yeah. Hmm. They're doing the homework, I think. No, they're probably uh, studying for the test. Okay. Hmm. Death. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> about that. <laughs> uh, well, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interchangeable, you know. She didn't tell him, I think. No, wait. What happened? <gasps> All of them. Damn. Fifty. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. This guy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh my God. Oh my god. Yeah. Ijimi. Ijimi. Super healthy shit. <laughs> Another reason. Ah. <laughs> okay, what? Polaris. Or some minor. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, but they. I uh, I guess. Yeah, he probably only went to planetariums and stuff, and. Damn. <laughs> well, 
because yeah <laughs> hmm yeah she she did said the same thing in the movie as well where he said that i want to watch what you want to watch It's probably too many. <laughs> yeah, that as well. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nah, she's probably embarrassed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, that was the end. All right, another wholesome episode. Um, thankfully, in this episode, not much unlucky stuff happened, you know? It was basically yeah basically them conversing and like you know having making plans to go to the river yeah the river and then somewhere else you know like in the in the summer vacation and we also get a little bit of uh information about how neko met uh shikimori and how they became friends now interesting thing that we got to need, know here like i thought they were friends from the beginning you know shikimori neko and hachimitsu it turns out that neko and hachimitsu were friends but shikimori was not and the most surprising thing here was that shikimori and uh, you were already in a relationship after that Shikimori became friends with Neko. Oh wait, there's still something left. Cooking class? Okay. Wait. Oh. <laughs> wait. The... Oh, she probably brought her here. <laughs> oh no, she's going to <coughs> What the Um Eh <laughs> Wait, what is happening here? <laughs> oh my god, what the hell?
Yeah, okay. <laughs> Please don't trip. I feel like she's going to trip. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Yo! What the? <laughs> Oh my god, okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, then... <clears throat> so... <laughs> let's talk about this episode. First of all, um, we get to see... Uh, in the first part, we get to see them making... Uh, making plans as to where to go in the summer vacation. And it's hot. You know like outside and <laughs> uh, you uh, being like an uh, indoor person and he like you know he doesn't like the sunlight that much probably is sensitive to it and uh, and Hachimitsu as well while the other three uh, Neko, Inu and uh, um, uh, Shikimori three of them they are like the outdoor the type of person <laughs> So there was like a, like you know, like a difference in you know, like their uh, what do you call it, like you know, what what they like. For example, uh, they like summer more than uh, you likes summer, and it's vice versa. So you was like, okay. Uh, at first, Shigemori brings him water, and then Hachimitsu like you know hands uh, him over the um, the umbrella. And then they start talking about um, where to go and this and that, how they like summer, all that. And uh, he, he talks about, she, you talks about how he gets sunburned and gives people trouble all the time. That's why she, he always, when in the beach, he always uh, like, kind of stays in the shade and uh, doesn't, you know, like go much outside and kind of like, you know, probably doesn't go outside the shade and uh, now here's the thing i i don't know i you know what i feel like in this heat going to the sea beach is i, I don't think it's a good idea like i don't <laughs> like i don't know like you know like i like you know, I'm, i myself have, have has got gone to the sea beach but i've never gone during a time where it's like blistering hot like you know like i i feel like that'll be even worse like you know like just and not only that, not only the heat is a factor here. The thing is that we, there are people, there's a lot of people on the sea beach and especially during a summer, it'll be packed. And it's, it's not just like, you know, it, it won't be a good time. I feel like, you know, like in this blistering hot going to the sea beach to, uh, you know, like to kind of swim and all, I, I, I don't know. Like, you know, I, I feel like it's, it's going to be a very, difficult situation like you know with the heat and all so them choosing to go to the river i feel felt like that was a lot more uh calm uh, uh, sorry cooler and they can go anywhere like you know like in, in a river they could probably go to like a village place you know where there's uh you know like there's like uh, a little river flowing and they can stay there like you know have a little picnic or whatever and like you know there's there will probably be a lot of trees here and there they can like you know sit under the shade of a tree and uh, like you know the, the ni nice wind will be blowing and uh, as i said they could have a little picnic they might i don't know like go fishing or something i have no idea what else they can do but yeah they can they can or, or just like you know kind of uh sit uh, like you know on, on the side of the river bank and there's a lot of things you can do like you know like over there so i feel like this like, you know, going to the river at, 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 at least, you know, like during the blistering hot is a lot better uh, choice that they made. And, uh, but one thing, I, I don't know, like, you know, they, they were like, okay, let's buy some swimsuits. And I'm like, wait a minute, do they even need swimsuit on a river? Like, I could understand in a beach or like, you know, maybe in a pool, I can understand. But a river, like, I'm, I, I have no idea. But I guess it's okay, like, you know, like, 
they, they want to buy some like you know swimsuit and also yeah they can do that but i feel like like <laughs> i don't know going to a river in a swimsuit that that sounds, sounds weird but we'll see about that i'm pretty sure they're going to show us that episode later on and you know like probably they'll go to the river and uh, we'll probably have an episode dedicated to that so we'll see about that in that episode and they were kind of talking about all of this and <laughs> inuzuka asks hachimitsu about oh uh, like where do you want to go are you okay with the river and she's like oh i would like to be in someone's room with the ac full on and just like you know laze around <laughs> And they're like okay we can do that as well like yeah they can do that as well they can they can like maybe just one day they go to the uh, river uh the next day they can just go hang around in someone else's house and you know like it's a summer vacation there's a lot of days like you know you can do whatever you want to and uh like like i i don't know i feel like this you know this this kind of reminds me of my school days and unfortunately i had no friends like this who i could just hang around with them in their house and everything i had friends but not that like you know friends like that and unfortunately all my friends lived very far away and things like that couldn't be done <laughs> so like th that was basically it so i feel a little bit you know kind of you know like envious of this situation because it seems so fun you know just like you know like a full uh, like you know summer vacation just each and every day like not not necessarily each and every day but like you know like one day or two day uh like you know alternatively just like you know they go one day to the uh, river maybe one day to the pool maybe one day to one of their houses um maybe a little picnic maybe something else maybe just hang around play video games like just just like like so many days they could do and spend it like this and unfortunately i never had that chance and i kind of feel a little bit envious about <laughs> this type of a situation like you know this type of close uh what do you call it like you know close knitted friendship and uh, now i do have friends like that who i hang around with and you know, go to their house with but at that time and that one like I was, it was in the school that didn't happen much so i'm a little bit envious <laughs> but yeah anyways <laughs> enough about my my situation <laughs> So they go to the mall and uh, they're like, all right, let's buy a swimsuit. And uh, at first they were like, okay, let's uh, do some uh, review for the test as well. But then Neko, Neko was like, oh, nah, let's just like, no, let's buy some swimsuit as, uh, as well. And Neko, Hachimitsu, they just go while Shikimori at the beginning, Shikimori was like, nah, it's okay. Like, you know, I'll be here, like, you know, since um, you doesn't want to go and you know like buy a swimsuit she, he has no plans on going to the water and i'll also probably don't do that <laughs> then we see oh my god and she you know he was she was a little bit like oh i'm a little bit like you know a uh, little bit um what did she say i was expecting no i just it's just a bit of a pity yeah he she she just kind of says that and unfortunately you wasn't able to understand at first then he was he was just so embarrassed <laughs> and neko's like uh, neko was like oh maybe like you know izumi is always wrapped around uh michon's finger <laughs> funny thing you know after that they just go and you know go to the swimsuit section and you is looking at a poster with like a model uh, a swimsuit model and he was just looking at her abs and he was like oh my god so cool so strong shikimori was like oh my god i also need to do that she just goes and to the swimsuit section and to buy something for herself and yo this here we can see like you know her competitiveness just come out and uh, yeah like nekozaki and hachimis to get to know like an you know, like I guess to know what she's trying to do. Nekozaki has like you know just starts laughing and she says like okay like you know you've always been this competitive and uh, even when we were we became friends and then we get a little backstory or a flashback. Now here's one thing that I was not expecting at all. I was not expecting that uh, Nekozaki and Hachimitsu 
like you know i thought that um they were friends from her from the beginning no way i was expecting that shikimori and you like kind of being in a relationship before them being friends usually is the reverse that happens so i was really surprised when i saw that izumi was always in already in a relationship with her and later on neko and hachimitsu became her friends but yeah that's basically what happened so uh, we get the flashback where nekozaki talks about how she is so cute she is like you know so graceful and how like you know nekozaki kind of admires those type of people because she herself is like you know very uh, brash and very you know like like a tomboy she has a tomboyish attitude so she kind of like you know is attracted to the opposite and that's why she's like oh i can kind of i can like that type of like you know uh, like a person who's like a uh, like you know like shikimori and i'm always attracted to that and uh, she talks about how she wants to protect these type of people all that she says and uh, she also talks about izumi and talks about how their relationship also is kind of cute so she basically she admires that well she is in for a shock because later on when they go to the basketball like in you know, a match she realizes how wrong she was it's not only it's not not only that she's cute but she's also cool and she realizes that at that moment where shikimori just grabs the like you know, kind of takes the ball from her and just you know, like scores a basket <laughs> you know, like if you see like the whole world crash in front of her she's just petrified <laughs> and then like you know the whole rivalry starts she's like all right you know what let's see like you know let's let's kind of uh, show him how i can also do like you know something like that and nekozaki scores a basket from her now here's what happens here you could say that they were saying like how she's competitive I would say I would I would like to disagree a little bit is not only that she's competitive it was it was it is that she's competitive because Izumi is involved I feel like that was the whole situation because she sees Izumi being like you know fascinated at that like in you know, a basket like seeing Nekozaki uh, score you know like Izumi was fascinated like Izumi it's not that Izumi was fascinated at seeing Nekozaki score she he was fascinated at the at the game in itself like you know seeing so many people just running around like you know you causing like you know kind of uh <coughs> shooting a basket and all i'm pretty sure she was fascinated at the whole game but obviously Sh Sh shikimori saw that whole scene and she was like oh he is fascinated at nekozaki scoring a basket that's when it strikes her competitive nature comes out just like how we saw like you know that thing happen when she his comp her competitive nature came out when she saw Izumi watching the like looking at that poster, the swimsuit model poster, and <laughs> that's when she starts like kind of giving it her all. And uh, Shikimori and <laughs> Nekozaki has like a, an amazing like, kind of match, and we don't know who won. I think they did not show us that, but who cares? You know, they had a good game, and they became good friends after that. <laughs> they bring that thing comp like you know they, they bring that thing up and shikimori is like oh don't remind me of that she's embarrassed okay on the other side inuzuka and um uh you they are like, you know doing the like you know kind of practicing the uh test materials and all and uh okay they come she uh izumi uh not Izumi, so Shikimori sits, sits beside Izumi and Izumi is like, what did you buy? He's like, I want nothing, I, I, I didn't buy anything, it's nothing. <laughs> He's like, you're lying, tell me what it is. Oh my god. And you know, she, she's just embarrassed, she's like, no, I'm not going to like, you know, show you. <laughs> and here Nekozaki says, oh, maybe it's the reverse maybe it's michon who's wrapped wrapped around izumi's finger and you know what i would say is you know it's 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 interchangeable both of them in some way or the other are kind of you know like wrapped around each other's fingers <laughs> it depends it depends on the situation but yeah all right that was that the next scene is where we get to see how 
oh my god uh, izumi again like you know, is like like just bombarded with misfortune as he recalls how one of his pens like not one but all of his pens stopped working and while like you know the teacher thankfully was able to see that and like you know brought another pen which took uh, 15 more minutes for them to do that and uh, then like you know some random dog starts barking at him and all and he's just like ah oh. <laughs> now he goes back home and here like you know fear sets in he's like oh my god what will happen if this happens tomorrow again which shikimori was able to predict that's why shikimori called him and they start talking and here they can have a little conversation about um you know, the stars and uh, he talks about the different stars and all and shikimori says like well you know a lot about these don't you and he says that he always want like you know kind of went with his dad but unfortunately due to his luck uh, it either rained or something like that happened and the whole plan kind of got foiled by the end of it so <clears throat> i'm pretty sure he got to know about the constellations from probably picture books planetariums all these things uh but he never was able to see the actual like you know like actually go stargazing somewhere because some way or the other the whole thing kind of failed because you know because of his luck so let's talk about that where shikimori says like let's go like you know like let, let us go let's, uh star seeing as well stargazing sorry stargazing as well because you know i like you know, I, I want to show you i want to take you somewhere where we'll be able to see that and <clears throat> here izumi is like uh like i also want to take you to where you go uh, where you want to go uh now here's the thing this whole conversation happened in <clears throat> the previous episode as well where you was like oh i want to see what you want to see now <clears throat> i feel like this this whole thing should be done in uh, turns like as izumi was kind of saying like the you know they are going to go to the river which is his choice so maybe the next time uh you know like he wants to go to somewhere that uh shikimori wants to go now here shikimori brings up another point which i also kind of said in the previous episode uh, which is that she just wants to hang out with him it's not the destination or the place it's the person that she's going with and that's all that matters to her and you know like any place that she goes with him would be something memorable because she's going there with Izumi and that's all that matters so basically what she's saying like is like I don't have much like you know many many choices anywhere that I'll go with you will be a good time I, we can go to the like you know the uh, next door library you know with you and I'll still have a good time because it's with you that's basically what Shikimori is, is saying here and uh, <clears throat> which I feel like is something that is pretty much common for all couples who really like each other you know because you know as 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 shikimori said it's not that the place matters it's just that the person that we're going with and uh, but you know what i i still feel like you know they kind of should interchange you know like they should uh one time well like you know one time they should go to the place where shikimori wants to go one time they should go to the place where izumi wants to go even though the destinations doesn't matter uh you know like still they should do that i i feel like that'll be kind of nice and as, as izumi kind of said in the previous episode he wants to know what she likes and i'm pretty sure vice versa as well so yeah i feel like that will be a good thing which i'm sure they'll do later on okay so <laughs> and then izumi kind of compliments her and talks about how amazing she is and this and that <laughs> And Shikimori, like, you know, kind of <laughs> puts the phone down because <laughs> she's embarrassed. Uh, the brother comes in and the brother's like, what the hell are you doing? And that's where it ends. The after credit scene is crazy. I was not expecting that at all. Oh my god. <laughs> is this going to be like a running gag that the mom... <laughs> I feel like this is a running gag. You know, in the previous episode as well. You know, like we kind of get a little <laughs> section of Shikimori, Shikimori and uh, like you know Izumi's mom, and here again, 
and this this is definitely a running gag that's going to be like you know like a comedic thing <laughs> here shikimori and her uh, like you know use mom they are both like all right let's you know like they're in like a cooking class and as we know uh, uh use mom is very clumsy she tries to grab some utensils and it just drops and she's like oh my god like you know it dropped and <laughs> and then you know like shikimori was kind of cutting she she teaches her to cut properly cut the vegetables <laughs> it's like a weird tension going on <laughs> and then she uh, like you know use mom is like all right let me go and bring some kitchen knife she goes and drops the whole thing like my god that's dangerous and it was shikimori that's why she was able to just grab the knife mid air i don't know how she did that she grabbed the knife you know properly like she did not cut off her hands or something thankfully so <laughs> and then shikimori also like you know catches <laughs> catches use mom as well what's her name motoko isn't it i think that's her name use mom's name yeah i think motoko that's her name and <laughs> and yeah that's where it ends that was funny that last section was funny and i feel like this is going to be like a running gag of <laughs> of this show <laughs> but yeah so that's it that was this episode another wholesome episode and uh, we're probably going to get an episode in the future where they're going to go outside you know like as they were saying like and they're probably going to go to the river and maybe hang around in each other's house this and that like and they'll have fun so we probably will get an episode dedicated to that in the future we'll see but yeah that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to shikimo is not just a cutie episode number four if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and uh, i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shikimo is not just a cutie until then goodbye and have a nice day